how are you guys welcome to another video i'm here to do a story time update get ready with me video i feel like get ready with me's are just so easy for me to do and i can just talk to you guys and be myself and you know just kind of like tell you guys what's up and you guys seem to enjoy that the most but i also have some really fun story times and an update so I appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me, my bouncing back and forth on videos, no videos, and like all the other things, but um, I know you guys are going to enjoy this one. I'm going to tell you guys what my dating life has been like for the past couple months and what has happened, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe if you haven't, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I'm on TikTok, and everything will be linked down below, and yeah, let's get started. I'm going to pin back my hair so it's out of our face i have a pretty much a bare face but i do have my eyebrows on i'm trying to grow them out so they're in like an awkward phase and yeah i just feel more comfortable having them on so we're going to get into i guess it's a story time life update i'm gonna do i'm not gonna go into super detail about everything but just the story time i guess but you guys do need a little bit of background information. Um, my ex that I had talked about when I said I had a boyfriend, I did a vlog that says I have a boyfriend. Yeah, we broke up. <laughs> and mind you, I made that announcement. I'm going to, again, just ju jump into my makeup. Uh, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I have two colors here. I saw this on TikTok. I made a TikTok on it and it's actually pretty good. I used a lighter shade because I think this one might be too dark, but maybe I'll mix them. I have the colors medium tan and tan medium deep because I have so much color. I went to Greece. Check out my Greece vlog if you want to know what I did in Greece, but I got so much color. So I'm going to mix these two and guys, these are $5 at Target. So I'm just going to mix the two here on the back of my hand kind of like that so yes I posted that I have a boyfriend vlog probably what five months um like into being in a relationship I didn't want to like announce it right away because I sometimes it doesn't work out so when, when we were five months four or five months deep into it I was like okay I'm going to post a vlog I'm going to announce it and just give you guys an update and lo and behold after the five months that's when things would change so I'm no longer with that man <laughs> man child but um that's a whole story in itself it was a super toxic relationship it was my first relationship in a very long time so i could get into that another time that can be a different story time this is going to be a more fun story time but i just i wanted to give you guys that um background information because i'm no longer with that guy but wow my face looks very white bear with me i'm gonna bronze it back up so but look at that coverage is that really pretty all right now i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury medium um it's like their color corrector color correcting concealer but i have the medium and it's the perfect color right now for me because i'm tan so i just put it under my eyes i use my ring finger i tap it out blend it onto the cheekbones and bring it down my ex and I had broken up and I was upset for about two days which also showed me um that it wasn't the re relationship for me because I was really upset but it, it was only for two days and I just realized how toxic it, he was I realized how much we weren't good matches for each other and I quickly got back into the dating game and you can judge me all you want but I think everybody has different experiences and everybody's relationship is so different you know we were together for about four to five months but like it was just so clear how it was never going to work even though I wanted it to work so 
about five days later i was sad for a couple days i got back onto the dating apps and i told myself whoever i match and whoever suggests a fun date first i'm going to go on that date because yes i was still kind of bummed but i told myself like do something fun do something that you will enjoy like you just got out of this relationship and just just go and have fun and like don't expect anything out of it um so in my mind i was like okay whoever suggests a, a fun first date an activity date anything like that i'm going to go if i think it's going to be fun and if i think i'm gonna have a good time i am gonna go and about five days later i had matched with um this guy and we had matched a while ago but obviously i was in a relationship so i didn't respond and i finally went through my matches or my likes or whatever this, this was on hinge so i went through my likes and i saw that he matched or liked me so i matched with him and then he messaged me like right away and it took a few days for me to get back to him i don't know i was just kind of like in a weird place obviously but finally we got to chatting and one of the prompts on my hinge profile because you can have little prompts on hinge um one of my prompts was, I bet you can't beat me at ping pong. If you guys are new and you don't know, I'm really good at ping pong. And I like to put that in my dating profile because I like, you know, it's a great conversation starter, but also like, I would love to go play ping pong. Like if anybody's even fairly good at ping pong or just wants to do an activity date, like they will take me up on that offer and they will suggest ping pong. So I haven't been on a ping pong date in a very long time because my ex like refused to go with me. This guy was like, hey, like, are you really that good at ping pong? Do you want to go to Spin? Which Spin is a ping pong bar and it's in several cities, big major cities, Philadelphia, New York. I think there's one in Texas. I don't know which city in Texas, Chicago. Um, so if you are a ping pong person, it's a big ping pong bar. It's super cool. There's like 30 to 40 tables there. I don't know. It's crazy. But I always have a good time. So when he suggested spin or he suggested dinner and then spin, I was like, that's going to be fun. I want to go to that. And this was the first date, <laughs> you know, since after breaking up with my ex. And I was like, I'm just going to go. I'm going to have fun. I love ping pong. I haven't played in years at this point. So I figured, why not? This guy suggested it. He's offering to take me to dinner beforehand. And honestly, I think it was the entire setup because he was like, let's go to dinner here and then walk over to spin afterwards. So he like had it planned out. He thought about it. He thought about how far the restaurant was to the actual activity. And I was like, all right, a man with a plan. I like that. So I went. <laughs> And of course, because the universe loves to throw us like these curveballs, I had such a great time. I enjoyed myself so much. He was such a gentleman. We had dinner at this beautiful steakhouse and then we played ping pong. We were just out all night. It was not awkward. We were talking all night. Our energy was just matching on so many levels and I had so much fun. So that's kind of how everything started and then it just you know we got to talking we we hung out a few times after that like really quickly because we just really liked each other's company and then on our fourth date no it was on our third day our third day we were talking about like places we wanted to go or places we've never been like traveling because i'm big on traveling and just experiencing new things and new places so I'm not sure, I forget how it came up, but um, Nashville came up and I was like, oh, I've never been to Nashville, but I've always wanted to go type thing. Um, we were talking and we were talking about Nashville and I was like, yeah, I've never been. He's like, oh my gosh, it's such a great time. Like, do you want to go? And of course, like, I'm like, yeah, I want to go. Let's go. Not thinking it would go anywhere. Right. Um, and... He was like, great, when are you free? And I was like, I could go next week, like as soon as next week. And he was like, great, I'll look at 
tickets and hotels. And of course, me being me, I'm just like, yeah, okay. And also, like, is this safe, Jerlyn? Like, what are you doing? Um, but again, I was just, I was having fun and it was exciting at the same time because a lot of men talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk, and he does both. And I was just leaning into it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lean into it because everything happens for a reason. You meet people for a reason and I'm here, right? So yeah, next thing I knew, he had a hotel booked. He had the plane tickets booked and we were going to Nashville for our fourth date, which is so crazy. And obviously... A lot of my friends were concerned they're like what are you doing and I'm like I'm living my life also I'm grown I'm 31 years old so I kind of know the social cues and stuff like that and I took every safety precaution you know traveling with a man that I just met and I had he even offered to like send all of my friends, whoever wanted it, or whoever I wanted to send it to, all the flight information, all the hotel information. He he took a picture of his ID and made me send a picture of his driver's license to them so they knew who he was, where he lived, like all his information. He was like, I want you to feel safe. I know this is kind of crazy. He's like, it's crazy for me too. He's like, but, you know, if you want to still go, like, and you want to feel safe, tell me what you need so uh we went and it was such an amazing time you know it's really difficult to find people that have the same travel tendencies as you and travel the same way because some people love to do like activity after activity and excursion and sightseeing like back to back to back and like some people just like to sit around and lounge and like kind of like wander and just kind of go with the flow. I'm more of an in-between. Like, I like to have some things planned. And then I like to, like, have some, like, free-flowing time. And he's the same way. So when I realized, like, we had the same, like, travel tendencies, I was like, this is great. So Nashville was such a great time. He even booked us. He knew it was my first time. So he booked us a line dancing class. And it was like an afternoon line dancing class. It was so perfect. It was like at one o'clock. So we could like sleep in and then, you know, get some food, just like stumble into the line dancing class. You know, we had some drinks beforehand and after and it was just such a great time. Amazing food, barbecue, all of it. We did the bar hopping, the night scene. And I just, I had a ball. I have zero regrets doing that. And I definitely think you should take safety precautions and, you know, really think about what you do. Obviously, going on dates this day and age, because people are crazy. But also, you just have to trust your gut at the same time. And I didn't have any hesitation. It was weird. Like, my friends were telling me, like, Jolene, are you sure? I'm like, I had zero hesitations about this man and going. But obviously I did take those safety precautions for myself and for my friends and family's peace of mind. So uh, we did all that, but I'm still dating him to this day. And I am, I can genuinely say I'm like happy. But yeah, you guys, I'm so happy. And again, I'm so confident in saying that I'm happy with this new guy and sharing it with you because it just feels right and I knew deep down again my ex was not right and I just I wanted to hide it and okay so that is pretty much it I want to give you guys that story time and that quick update but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or requests leave them down below in the comments but yeah if you're not subscribed and you enjoy this content please feel free to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me personally but I'm also amping up the TikToks, so check me out on TikTok. anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!